All right, welcome to Endless Days. And this is another 616 game. Apparently, it's about a lighthouse, as we can see. And I'm going to guess we're going to be on the island alone. So it'll be nice and creepy. Lighthouses are scary, right? Uh, I think they are. I think they're kind of cool, but we'll see how scary they could possibly be. All right, here's the itch synopsis for this game. Dylan takes a job on an isolated island looking after the lighthouse for six months. The last lighthouse keeper has mysteriously disappeared, and as the days go by, Dylan discovers that he may not be alone on the island. Ooh, speak spooky? Spooky. Very spooky, right? Uh, I wonder if it's black and white. It kind of looks black and white, doesn't it? Oh, well, let's see. Let's see. Yes. Yes, I'm sure. I want to play. All right. Let's we'll see how loud the music is on the introduction here. Eh. Oh, I already like the setting. Very picturesque. I, I played some other game with a lighthouse. I don't think it was this one, because I had to pay for this one. Hmm. I remember being on the island and everything freaking out, and eventually there's a big monster that was chasing me around. This looks like a different island, I think. All right. Let me turn this up a little bit. Ooh, that ocean sound. You can hear it. Alright, thanks Dylan for taking the job. It's really hard to find lighthouse keepers these days. I bet. Sebastian, good luck Dylan. The last lighthouse keeper is gone. We've searched all over the place, but we haven't found any leads on him. Shut up Sebastian. We don't want to scare the new lighthouse keeper on the first day. Incidentally, the former lighthouse keeper was a little crazy. Rest assured Dylan, Sebastian will be here with you. Uh, for the first week to make sure you're okay Yay, Sebastian's gonna stay with us Lino, we need to go soon. There's a storm coming. Hold tight Dylan. It's six months of solitude tending to the lighthouse Six months You can go I'll show Dylan the place and explain his duties pick him up in one week hmm. Or pick me up in one week Good luck with your new Dylan job. Wait, good luck with your new Dylan job? Good luck with your new job, Dylan. And remember, the light can't go out. Come, Dylan. I'll show you your new home. Wow, he's excited. This... Oh, there they go. Is he just walking? He's just leaving me. Come back, come back. Please, don't leave me here with Sebastian. I saw that one movie, the lighthouse movie with, what's it, what's that guy's name, Will, Willem Dafoe, it's pretty good. Things got all weird though, and I don't want things to get all weird with me and Sebastian. Oh, oh, okay, that's grass, I thought it was a bunch of poop. Oh, birds are so cute. I always grew up with birds. They always, I don't know, they always seem happy all the time. Currently have five cockatiels. And they are super cute. <laughs> all they do is hang out on their cage all day and look cute. Make cute sounds. Do cute things. I love birds. <laughs> I don't know if they constantly fly with their feet out like that, though. Look at him. Just buzzing away. These are like pure... I guess these are more seabirds than seagulls. Seagulls tend to have gray and black features and stuff. These are just white. Oh, that was a big one. Or he was really close to me. Ah, the lighthouse. Wonderful solitude. I think it would be cool to stay at a lighthouse for a little while. Uh, I think the ocean 
might be scary if it got stormy, but other than that, I think it would just be really beautiful. It'd be cool to, like, write a book hanging out at a lighthouse or write some poetry or something. Oh, I don't live in the lighthouse. I live over here. Sebastian, wait. Wait for me. I hope Sebastian doesn't live with me. Is this your new home, Dylan? Let's go inside. Okay. Or oh, this is your new home. Is he wearing some kind of like weird coat thing? For a second I thought he had like a Nazi uniform on. What year is it? Oh, look at this rug. That's beautiful. I have my own storage crates like in Minecraft. Oh, okay. Just stretch out. Feel free to stretch out, Dylan. There's a key here. Lighthouse key. And we do have an inventory. Oh, and a fridge. I thought this was a log. It's a fridge full of fine wine and uh, granola and uh, shredded cheese on top of beans. Okay. Okay. What a beautiful home. Okay, Sebastian. What's up? I don't have much to explain, Dylan. The job is simple. You only need to wind the lighthouse twice a day. Once in the morning and once in the evening when the light, when the light goes out. You wind lighthouses? I'm going to get some sleep. The trip makes me very tired. Keep everything in order. Okay. I guess I should go wind the lighthouse. I mean, I have the key to the lighthouse. Do I have, like, a giant, ridiculous key thing to wind it up? Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice out here. Hmm. Well, let's go wind the lighthouse. Endless Days. I'm thinking about the title now, though. Endless Days days we just played um time loop or whatever and that was very like the same day like groundhog's day uh i wonder if this will do a similar thing if it says endless days or if we're just gonna like slowly lose our mind tending to the lighthouse which i don't know is a popular theme let's go upstairs oh this is this is nice this reminds me of minecraft i would build something similar to this Oh, there's a valve, and there's a switch, and I assume that goes up to the light now. Oh, okay. Hey, birdie. Locked. We need a key. I thought I had a lighthouse key. Probably a different key. A chest key. I didn't even see the light. Where is it? I guess I can't get up to it. wonder what's in that chest. Huh? All right, what is this? Let's turn the valve. Turn in the valve. Turn in the valve. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. I guess that's winding it. The hell? Oh, whoa. That's cool. That's yeah, super cool. I gotta do research on lighthouses. I mean... How the fuck does a lighthouse even work? Like, it's there for like a long time. And it like has a light that's on for like a long time. And there's gotta be some kind of weird power source thing inside, right? I mean, lighthouses were like from back in the day. Or did they just light it? Where was it like... A light. I don't know anything about lighthouses. But I know that they're cool. It's going to make that noise all day. I wonder. I guess I'll leave it on. I'm not going to turn it off after I just turn it on. Oh, I saw a. Uh, there's a way down into the bottom of the lighthouse. It's probably one of the scariest places you could be in a PSX game is underneath the lighthouse in the basement. 
I'm already calling it. That's where I'm going to be finding some crazy stuff. Whoa. That's so cool. Real lighthouses don't do that, right? With the swooshing noise. Wow, okay. I'm very tired. I'm going to get some sleep. At least until the light goes off. Hmm. So, was... Is there like a... Is there like some kind of water system thing that, that turns and like gives the lighthouse, you know, a generator energy and then it turns the light on and keeps it on or something? I'm highly confused as to how the light stays on. If it was in Russia, they would have like some kind of weird nuclear battery thing. And then, then since the collapse of the Soviet Union, they'd like find those things somewhere. And they would be really dangerous. Oh, it's a bastion. Cause yeah, there was that story about like how they had those um, radio communication towers in Russia that they made during the Soviet Union, and they were in very remote places, kind of like this. So they needed a way to power those uh, those antennas and stuff. So they had to make these very specialized uh, radioactive batteries that would last for like decades, and they did. But when the Soviet Union collapsed, a bunch of scrappers went in and took it all apart. And they found, you know, they took the shielding off of all the radioactive cases. Um, and they kind of just threw the cores around and some people found them and radiated themselves and died. So that's super interesting, but also kind of a downer. I think there's still some out there. Wait, Sebastian, I guess we sleep in the same room. Who is this? I don't even know who that is. I'm going to sleep under his picture. I'm creeped out. We have a single candle. We have two mattresses and a candle to our name. It's okay. Good night, Sebastian. Swoosh, swoosh, wow. I'm going to expect to hear this if I go visit a lighthouse. It's a very nice, nice picture, though. Oh, it went out. That is okay. I'll go wind it for that is my job. And I will do my job in the middle of the night. Can I take this candle with me, please? Please. Sebastian, wake up. The light went out. Sebastian, please. Please. Sebastian. I don't want to go by myself. How is it that I have a fridge with a light in it, but I have a candle? Okay, I have this. Yes, much better. We have candle lights and we have a fridge from the mid 2000s. The the moon is always big in 616 games. It's always giant. Look at that moon. Well, excuse me, birdie. Got to go wind. Got to go wind the lighthouse. Wind it up. I remember that Willem Dafoe movie being really long, too. It was very surreal. Hello? Is anyone here in my lighthouse? Anybody? I think it's clear. We just have to turn the valve. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn, turn, turn. Turning, turning, turning. And use this switch. Boom. Let's have a look at her. There we go. Well, the birds like it. I enjoy the birds, so... Oh, oh, I almost got on top of it somehow. All right, all right. I wonder what's in that box, an extra bulb? Maybe. Well, easy job so far. I'm the best lighthouse keeper ever. Ready now, or ready now, the lighthouse should hold until tomorrow morning. I can go back to sleep. I did. I earned that. Job well done. 
Let's go to sleep. Uh, wine. KLP wine. Can I just sleep with the lantern? I'll feel safer if I sleep with the lantern. Sebastian. Sebastian sleeps like a rock. They always do this in 616 games too. There's always like a time change to zoom out. See? Hey, people are here. Are they here to take Sebastian? Hello? He better not be like, okay. He's not there. I thought he was going to be looking at me all weird. Let's see. Let's see. Can I eat food yet? No. <sighs> oh boy. Sleep in the lighthouse. Or sleeping. Oh, what's that? Like Sebastian has spilled some ketchup. Or Kool-Aid. Really thick Kool-Aid. Sebastian? Where did Sebastian end up? I hope he's not in the basement of the lighthouse. Because I don't want to go down there. Never. I never want to go down there. Hey, birdies. Maybe Sebastian's upstairs. Let's just turn the lighthouse on. Always turn it on when we're up here. Okay, no key. Oh, Sebastian must be down by the boat if the bo there's a boat here. I don't see a boat. Do we see Sebastian anywhere? Uh, there's the house. Uh, I mean, I don't see him. I guess we'll go down to the dock anyway. It's possible we can't just can't see him. Cause they haven't spotted him yet. Down, 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 down. Crap, where did Sebastian go? Impossible for him to disappear on this small island. It's impossible. I'm just gonna go check the dock really quick. Make sure Sebastian isn't chilling down there. Hmm. Many birds, no Sebastian. Oh, that big, beautiful lighthouse. Wow. It just, like, shoots out to the horizon. He's not here. Is this the boat I can use to leave? It's good to know there's a boat here. Okay, running back. Maybe Sebastian will come home soon. Oh, I sure hope so. The grass just keeps on appearing. It looks it looks funny. Looks like little tufts of spinach or something. <laughs> well, I don't see him on the lighthouse. Uh, I bet he's down in the basement. And that's the place I do not want to go. I don't want to... Oh. Blood? That's weird. Maybe I should have clicked on that before I went out there. No, we're good. Nighttime? It's the right time. 
Oh. Okay, I guess the days are just flying by. Hmm. Many days. Oh my god. Okay, calm down. How long are we gonna be here? Oh, what is going on? One month later. Month of isolation, sleeping on a mattress and losing Sebastian. Finding ketchup everywhere. What is going on? You didn't even clean it up after a month? You just let it sit there? That's that's not good. Let's get this out. That makes me feel better. I hope Sebastian... The sailors didn't come back. Sebastian is missing to this day. <laughs> well, that's not good. That's bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Um... Uh... Sebastian, please come back. Sailors, please come back. I think it said in the description that they're really going for cultivating the feeling of uh, isolation. I think they're doing a good job. I miss Sebastian. He didn't even say anything to me. He just had to sleep there and I felt better. But now we're alone. What does that sound? It kind of sounds like people are screaming when that thing comes by. Weird. Oh, whoa, 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 what did this bo What was this? The box fell? Oh. No. This isn't where I wanted to be. Put the box back. I don't want to go down in there. Uh, well. We have to advance the narrative. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, great. It's some kind of, like, hell realm tunnel. Ew. More of that mysterious red substance huh wonder what could be down here man it was really loud in my headphones when something happened Sebastian I'm not creeped out at all not at all let's go see what Sebastian's been up to for the past month in the basement the light can't go out. He needs blood. You alright, Sebastian? Is he facing the wall? Yeah, he's facing the wall. This is gonna be the old, uh... Maybe it'll be the old neck turn. You think so? He's just gonna turn his head, not his body. We'll see, we'll see. 616 has done that before. Sebastian, buddy! <laughs> ah, fuck! Okay, they did something different like a reverse spider crab thing I want to I want to be done with the lighthouse now Welcome to your new job, Stefan or Steven. I wish you good luck on this new journey. Be careful, the last two lighthouse keepers disappeared on this island. Our friend Sebastian too. He will spend 6 months on this island, isolated from everything. Stay strong. Don't let the light from the lighthouse go out. You need to, to wind the tower two times a day. Let's go, boys. Let's let Steven work. Good luck, my friend. Hey, fuck you guys. Can't believe you dropped somebody off on an island where, like, multiple people have disappeared on their own. Come back! You assholes, come back! Uh, there's still a boat here. 
So they just leave me by myself. I know there's a true story about a lighthouse crew that actually went missing. Like mysteriously. But there was a storm the prior night and everything got messed up on the island. So they think they were just swept away. But they all, oh, maybe like three or four of them, just went missing suddenly. If it was nice and calm and, and just nice, I could do it, I think. For a little while. If it's like in the middle of winter or like some kind of stormy thing, I'm going to turn the, on the light. The light can't stay off long. I really need to do the job. Yes, let's do the job. Locked. I need a key. The key should be inside. At least I hope it is. I hope there's no jump scares waiting for me in this house. There's no way to escape. No way to escape. Blood. That's weird. There's the key, there's the lamp, there's the bed and the creepy guy. What is this? My name is Dylan. If you're reading this letter, I'll be dead already. Sebastian disappeared and I'm alone on the island. I discovered a passage inside the lighthouse. This place is strange and it is draining my energies. Today I will go to the passage in the lighthouse to try to discover something. Oh boy, oh boy. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to go back in there. I don't want to do it. Uh, it's a nice day. Very nice day. I just want to stay outside with the birdies. But no. We have to wind the lighthouse. Apparently they fixed that. Wait, how? Who fixed it? I thought I thought Dylan was dead. Okay, winding her up, winding her up. Flipping a switch. Going outside. Oh God. Does the key open this yet? Nope. Need a key. What's in there? What could be in there? I guess let's go to sleep. I'll lie down for a bit. The journey was very tiring. The hell is this? Is that there before? Panels from my house? Or what? Maybe it was there before. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. No way out. Or there's no escape. Their, be their body parts better not be in this fridge. Okay, good. That'd make it hard to sleep. Okay. I wonder how much time is going to go by this time. No, not a storm. We really need to turn the light on. No, not in the dark. Lantern, please. Yes, we already know that note is the same note. Yes, it is the same note. What the fuck is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, there's birds. Silly birds. Silly bird. Excuse me, excuse me. How am I gonna get down into that thing now? The box is gonna fall again. Turn it on. Spin that valve. Oh, oh, oh. Almost knocked over my water. 
did it do it again? It did it again. Okay. Well, maybe we'll find two people down there. Two crab-like people. Let's go. I'm already... Whoa. Torch? Can I take the torch? No. I was hoping I could just take that. Oh, I already see something down there. Oh, it's like a doorway or a passage or something. More blood. Extra blood. More blood. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. This is fine. Blood. Uh, more blood. Two by fours. I need something to remove the woods. You're gonna make me go back? Oh, I hope that's not like some kind of puzzle maze thing that I'm gonna have to solve. They better not put some jump scare in my face right now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't. Is there tools somewhere? Maybe there's a tool in my home. Well, the game just saves, so maybe I'm making progress. I don't remember any tools. <coughs> Fucking shit, what is that? A bird? Aw. Shit, a crow. It looks like something is stuck in it. Chest key. Oh, Mr. Birdie. Oh, on the roof. Oh, rest in peace, Mr. Crow. Thanks for the key, though. <laughs> he had a, kind of had a funny death pose. He's like, eh. I'm dead. Here's the key, though. Uh, so I assume there's going to be... I don't know what the fuck that noise is. What the hell is that noise? What the hell is that noise? I don't know. Let's just do this. And... What is that? Key crow. Oh. Oh, wait. Put it away. Crowbar. Crowbar. I don't like that noise. Whatever noise that is. It's starting to freak me out a little bit. Open. Oh, but I hope it's not something scary that's rattling down in the basement that I'm going to find. No, I think that was the lighthouse. Okay. Uh, no, let's go with our lantern first. I don't want to do a puzzle maze right now. But we'll see. We'll see what it is. Alright. Well, I got this. Remove. A. Easy. Whoa. I need to do something to remove the wood. I did remove the wood. Do I need to have this equipped in my hand? Yes, I do. That's a strange glitch. It looks like there are three holes to fit something in. Like what? Oh. Uh, I'll put key. Whoa, the wall is freaking out. Well, <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I obviously don't have the other two keys that are going to be somewhere. Let's go back. This is reminding me of Mist. If anyone has ever played Mist, uh, 
say so in the comments. That is an old game, and I'm dating myself. I was really little when it when it was out, though, so don't worry. Never beat it. My friend had the book, um, had a couple books on Mist, and yeah, I would always go over to his house, and he'd just be playing it, and it looked scary to me because there was no one anywhere. He just had like a pack of matches. I need to get out of this rain and lie down. Just like trying to figure out all these puzzles that seemed impossible. I was more into playing pinball <laughs> on on Windows 98 than Miss. No way to escape. Dead birdie. Yeah, I know. Sleep. Oh man. Is that little hamburger dude hanging out? Two of them. Two of them. What was that, a third one? I can't see. Three of them. One of them's in the boat. Uh, oh, are they all up there? all up there. Is that a boat? Well, Sebastian is never coming back. Uh, let's see. I wonder if that is a boat. Let's let's run over here really quick and look. No. Oh, it's busted up. Oh, are there skeletons down there? Let's go look at that really quick. Maybe we should do that. Just to see what's up with the skeletons down there. I probably should restart the lighthouse, but maybe we won't. Not just yet. Run, 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 run. Birdies, move. Excuse me. Excuse me, birdie. Okay. Nothing weird, just birds. Oh, there's another key. Oh, I'm sorry. Rest in peace, people. Well, I found the key. I guess I should go place it in the lighthouse, huh? Maybe something else will happen. wonder what's going to happen. Is it going to open up a place so we can go inside the base of the lighthouse? Maybe there's a big scary monster down there? I hope not. Oh man, the past two games I played from 616 were half as long. So... I didn't expect it to be this long. Let's go place this thing. They better not just randomly jump scare me. We have one more. One more of the amulets. Where is it? This one? E oh, this Wait, where is it? Oh no, it's in my inventory. One key left. Okay. So what is that? I don't know. I don't understand what that one is. I know there's a, a bird head. I don't see what that is. Is it a lighthouse? It's like an Arby's hat. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Up, up, up 
the ladder. Let's restart the lighthouse while we're here. Let it, let's do that. Restart her. Just in case. Yeah, this absolutely reminds me of mist. Those were the days, though. Was anyone else alive in the mid to late 90s? It was a simpler time. Dial-up internet, Windows 98. Everyone still watched cable TV. Not to say that today isn't awesome, but it was just different. I really liked how... Um, in the 90s like the commercials and stuff were kind of like high budget they're like little little movies and everything and around the holidays or just any time all the commercials would change to be more themed towards holidays so it made it feel a little more i don't know um you know christmasy or something or like halloween i guess you can still find those commercials and they still occur but I see them less because I just don't spend time watching as much TV anymore. That blood stain is coming from under the rock. There must be something hidden. Oh, there's a door, a creepy passageway. Fine, let's go down. Someone dead down here? Okay, here's the last thing. Press tab to view. Okay, it's a cross. When Meta starts storming immediately. No more. No more jump scares. No more jump scares, please. Yeah, um There was a skate um a, s a roller rink near where I, I grew up called Skateland. It had the, the Simpsons arcade game and had like Night Stalkers and NBA Jam and those games were on forever through my youth and um, yeah just hearing a bunch of 90s hits on the on the sound system there when you skate around like um, TLC and stuff like when we hear waterfalls all the time oh it was it was good it was quite good Let's turn it on. Turn it. Uh, oh. It's on though, right? I think I turned it on. Let's hear Tupac and Biggie on the radio all the time. That was that was pretty good. I think grunge had basically kind of passed by the time I was more aware of music. I remember seeing some Nirvana unplugged on TV and not really understanding it when I was younger. And I think I was pretty young when um, Kurt Cobain passed away. Um, so I kind of missed the boat on when grunge was actually happening when I was alive, but I got into it later and definitely one of my favorite pieces of music from the 90s. Uh, where the hell am I going now? Oh, I'm going to go inside and put the... because I got the... Uh, the, the cross. Yeah, 90s nostalgia. That was a good time. Okay. Well, am I scared to put this in? Maybe. I feel like the lighthouse, the lighthouse is just going to get angry at me. So I apologize. I'm about to die. Probably oh, not that. The other thing. Maybe I'll keep the lantern out. But yeah, as usual, if you made it this far on the video, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And it's growing slowly, but it's still growing, so I'm happy with that. It's a lot of fun to play these games. So... Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have some kind of fun just watching me go through them. 
but yeah, if you get this far, thanks so much. And yeah, I'm about to die, so I'll, I'll see you. Like, follow, and subscribe. Oh Lord, what is it? It's some kind of horrible satanic growth where these people have become slaves to it. What the fuck is going on here? What is going on here? Honestly, look at that. What is that? What is this? What is this? Brain people? Feeding a brain? There's four of them. They stopped. They're gonna look at me. Yeah, I figured. Oh my god! Don't tell me it's don't. No, no, no. Why you have to do it to me? Not survival horror. Surprise survival horror. Do I have to kite these things around or what? Hey guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, hang on. Crowbar? Maybe? I can't see him though. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. Come with me. Run out? I think we run out. That's what makes sense. We ain't looking back because that's not what we do. Nope. Nope. I'm just gonna leave. What the fuck was that? I think I'm going crazy. I'll get some sleep. Let's just sleep. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Absolutely fine. There's nothing going on. That was a weird hallucination dream thingy. I'm just spending too much time alone on this island. That's all that's going on. I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. There's no way to escape. There's dead crow and torture dungeon in the house. It's fine. Let's just sleep on our dirty pea stain mattress under the French guy and not worry about things. Let's think about Skateland in the 90s. That was a nice place. Sometimes my mom would give me extra money, get to buy some nachos. The nacho sauce was really hot. And, uh, the cheese was a little spicy. I remember liking that quite a bit. Oh boy. Having birthday parties there. Oh, there's a hamburger men all around me. Uh, and then you get that toy dispenser thing with the little bobble things, and then inside is a, a sticky hand that you swing it around and you slap people with it, or you stick it to the bus window or something, and then you put it back in your pocket, and it gets all. It's still night. Oh my god, what happened to me? And it gets all like furry and then you don't want to use it anymore because it doesn't stick to anything. Then you go get another one for like a dollar and quarters. Is there anyone in here? I'm second thought. I'm never going to a lighthouse ever because of this game. Whew. Woof. Saving. I need to turn the lighthouse on. That's all. I'll go back in that building. Cause that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Open. No, I'll go upstairs. Let's see. Can we turn the valve? Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Turn it on. Okay, we're in business. Okay. Well, I'm not going downstairs again. Fuck that. I think I need to, though. I think it's gonna make me. Maybe I'll go down here, try to sleep again. If not, then I'll go back into the basement. Good lord. Nope, I have to go in the basement. 
Unless there's something down here now. There is not. Okay. Let's go back in the basement and see the hamburger men. 616 likes to use a bunch of meat, guys. Seen that in multiple, multiple installments. Go, go, go. They better not still be here, just like ready to run at me. Oh, fuck. 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 Fuck! Oh. That's my fault. The lighthouse needs to be powered. Only then will it bring us light. Our job is to maintain order at all costs. We are the lighthouse keepers. Oh no. Then is my soul going to become part of the lighthouse light? Oh. Yeah. I guess that's the other part of the job they didn't tell you about. Oh. Man. What a tough gig. You just kind of like move your hands up and down on that big meat pole thing. For eternity? Wow. Special thanks. Let me ease that volume down a little bit here. Wow. Okay. Well, that was Endless Days by 616, and I'll have to say, that one was really good. I think I really liked it. Uh, it was a lot different from their other ones. Uh, this one was more atmospheric by far than a lot of them. Uh, if they were trying to make a game that focused on isolation and feeling alone and kind of helpless and stuff, then I think they succeeded. Uh, it was just I felt like no one was there I felt sad as soon as Sebastian disappeared and yeah what was behind that door in the basement was kind of exactly what I thought might be there some kind of weird metaphorical horrible monstery thing that happens to be like the heart of the of the lighthouse and I started out this game wondering how lighthouses are powered and apparently they answered it for me, uh, although in a very scary way. Um, now I have to go watch videos about how lighthouses work. Otherwise, I'm going to envision that there's a big blob of meat, bloody meat chunks down below, like a big meat heart being, you know, tended to by four hamburger guys who are just like massaging these poles all day long, like, you know, rhythmically. Because that's definitely something I won't forget about this game. Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can go visit a lighthouse. Maybe I'll think of it. Maybe I won't. Hopefully I don't. But yeah, the basement of a lighthouse seems very scary. I wonder if actual lighthouses have actual basements. Or if that's just something made up for these PSX games. Because I have been in multiple lighthouse basements before. So... It was interesting that I went back down and like for the second time, I don't know what I was doing back down there and it just killed me. I think I had my back to what killed me too because it started coming towards me and I started to run away. And I've done this in multiple PSX games where my, you know, my jerk reaction is to look away and then I miss the final jump scare. So if there was some kind of scary bloody meat thing that was about to get me, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get it. And, you know, I didn't see it. So you guys probably missed it, but that's okay. I'm sure it was scary. Um, so the game definitely reminded me of other games where you're by yourself, like Mist, And it was creepy. Being by yourself is creepy. Uh, being abandoned somewhere is creepy. Just being alone and hearing weird things is about as scary as it gets, I think. So really good job on this. Um, 
I, I probably have a hierarchy of 616 games that I like, but this one is definitely towards the top. And the thing is, it's in its own category because of the atmospheric emphasis here. Um, there were like no other people pushing the story along, really, except for Sebastian's a couple of skeletons. So, and it still worked. It was scary. I don't know what it all meant, but I don't think I'm supposed to. So, and in, in horror, I think that's a great thing. Like, you don't ever want to give away the exact bad thing that's going on like and you know give a logical reason for that it's best to keep those things kind of mysterious it's scary that way because you just never know what it is you know you can't put your finger on it and i don't know i just suggest that you know it could be anything it could be real it could be something that's still there or you know no, it's never figured out so who knows where it is what it's doing but i'm assuming it's evil and bad so I won't be going into any lighthouse basements, although I, I don't know, I might be able to be convinced, but probably not, not off the bat at least. So yay, 616, I really like this one. Thanks for making it. It was worth a dollar for sure. Um, and I'm proud of myself for playing it in my apartment late at night with the volume way up. And I think I did great. And you all did great too, if you actually got to the end of this video. So thank you so much for helping out like and follow subscribe do all that stuff if you can to help me out but uh, you don't have to either just thanks for watching and i hope you have a great night i'll find something more something scary to play and uh bring it to you as soon as i can okay bye bye have a good night bye